Hello there, welcome to TVC News. At this time, I am Mike Okwache. We begin in Sudan, where a U.S. brokered ceasefire between its warring generals enters its second day. It remains fragile as witnesses report continuing airstrikes in the Rapid Support Forces paramilitary group says it has seized an oil refinery and power plant. To bring soccer to citizens stranded in the country, the federal government will later today commence the evacuation of about 5,500 Nigerians, including students stranded in Khartoum and other cities. To facilitate the repatriation, the government has released 150 million naira for hiring 40 buses to convey these citizens from Sudan to Cairo in Egypt. The chairman of the Nigerian and Diaspora Commission, Abike Davri Erewa, who confirmed the payment, said that the evacuees would take off this morning. Giving an update on the evacuation process via her Twitter handle, uh, the NITCOM boss said that, and I quote, they are still in Khartoum at Neymar, Nigeria, has sorted all payments, but there are still a few logistical delays. They will likely proceed early in the morning. A war situation is not a normal situation. We are all anxiously waiting to receive them, end of quote. And foreign countries are taking advantage of the temporary suspension of hostilities to move their nationals from Sudan as deadly fighting between the two forces entered the second week. The director of the Special Duties and National Emergency Management Agency, who doubles as chairman of NEMA's committee for the evacuation of the stranded Nigerians from Sudan, Onimode Abandele, said that uh, the government met with government officials in Egypt on how to move Nigerians through Luxa. Following the delay in evacuating students from Sudan, the National Association of Nigerian Students arranged uh, the transportation of some students through Ethiopia. Uh, they were, however, denied access to Ethiopia by the country's authorities because they lacked security clearance. Mr. Bandili, who advised Nigerians against self-evacuation, said that such an engagement was risky.